Prepping for a week-long family vacation when you have a lot of plans is definitely a chore that I was dreading. Truth be told, I do have a lot of plans, but most of them don't need to be watered within 10 to 14 days. Like this fiddle leaf hasn't been watered in a month. I use the chopstick method. If the chopstick comes out clean, it's ready to be watered. If it comes out dirty, then it's not. So it's finally time to give this fiddle a good soak. You know how all those plant care guides say to water your plants until it comes out of the drainage holes? That's not entirely accurate. You want to do multiple flushes of the soil to make sure everything's saturated. For any trip, I wait until my plants are pretty dehydrated before I water them. In my conditions, I notice that bottom watering keeps my plants soaked for longer. Pretty sure the last time I watered my snakes and ZZs, I didn't have any children. So I watered them. Now they'll be good until my kids go to college. I do love having self-watering pots because I only need to fill the reservoir once a month. Everything in my greenhouse cabinet is pretty self-sufficient. Most of these plants are in LECA, so I just need to top off the reservoir. And the lights in the cabinet run off a timer. And the most dreaded task of all is taking care of these moss pools. I tried so many different methods and I finally found the perfect device. Once the moss is fully saturated, I'll cover it up in plastic wrap to keep the humidity in. Finally, I boxed up my most precious plants for a friend to babysit and then I spilled them all in the driveway. <laughs>